Alrighty, let's see what's going on today. Mm, quick little cards and coffee. Oh, officially, officially hoodie season. <laughs> this thing is so cute. I'm gonna fix this though. I don't like that. I'm gonna hit that sewing machine, tuck in that little point. It's a little bit too pointy for me. Again, there's no room. Nothing flipped over. That's funny. Alrighty, we have got Virga. We've got the number five, and we have got the Jupiter. All right, so five and Jupiter. I'm not sure if Jupiter is one of the retrograding planets. I have been trying, trying my best not to pay too much attention to that stuff because it will drive you insane. Got to keep a balance on how much energy you put in focus. You get too fragmented and scattered. All right, we got harvest, we got moon, and we got waves. Hmm. Harvest, moon, and waves. Getting a lot of pattern there, right? Ebb and flow, tides, and reaping what one sows. Ebb and flow, the tides. You know what I'm saying? how the moon affects the tide. Sometimes they're different. Sometimes the high tide is extra high because there's a super moon going on, things like that going on, and how it all runs in cycles that are predictable, right? The harvesting cycles, right? You reaping what you sow. What you intend and plant now is what you will reap in spring, right? Long-term, long-standing cycles, long-standing patterns. That's what's really coming out right now. I haven't done these guys in a while. What kind of energy are we picking up with this? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this is right off the bat. Okay. Definitely. All right. So, yeah. It is about that time of year, Mercury retrograde. And this time of year, every time of the year. Yeah. I'm the dickhead fairy that sprinkled bitch dust and created this entire argument. Blessed be. <laughs> I can't make it up. It's too good. Alright. Let's get a 3D, 45D on some of what's going on here today with these patterns and cycles, right? You know, <clears throat> it's something I said in a video the other morning. And, uh, it was the, the matching energy thing, right? And it's when you know somebody, well, well, what the saying was, you know, it's that whole thing. It's like, oh, I'm matching energies today. So you decide how we're going to act today. Da, 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 da type of thing. Right. And it's like the minute you, the minute you're like that or you somebody says that to you it's like they just told you what i give you the power to control me the whole rest of the day here you go i'm matching energies today so you decide how we're gonna act today right now if you know people that like to try to manipulate the energy and things like that or you know people that are manipulated manipulated by energies like that then you know what's going to happen. You can predict these cycles with certain types of people. You know what I'm saying? That matching energy person, she's not matching energy. That person came in there with the nasty energy already. One. Right? I'm matching energies today, so you decide how this is going to go is actually a day or two on the other part. Right? It's an already setting this up. Today for tomorrow. Right? So I'm getting the sense that this is a cycle that keeps happening there's keep like peace being brought into the situation and then it's like okay well if we could just i think that you guys understand this pattern and these patterns and you keep doing this thing you're like well it's just a bad day today tomorrow will be better tomorrow will be better tomorrow will be better but the today for tomorrow shadow card and this is a full moon so this was something that the full moon just highlighted for you is what you keep saying you're going to trade today is a bad day tomorrow will be better 
and you don't realize that tomorrow's never coming, right? Tomorrow never came, tomorrow hasn't come, and it's not coming, right? Love and compassion, right? I feel like you're not receiving enough love and compassion. I feel like you're not giving yourself enough love and compassion. This card is all about giving yourself the same amount of love and compassion you give other people. Which is cute because I did see a thing today, too, that was along the lines of people speak in their love languages right so like if your love language is words of affirmation your inner dialogue will have a nasty dialogue to at your self-destruct feature because there's always an opposite right so if your love language is positive affirmation your inner voice can be very very negative type deal So you need to make sure that you try to make that inner voice as loving and compassionate as the voice that you project out to the world as well. If your love language is giving gifts, make sure that you get yourself something every now and then because your destructive behavior will be you are so focused on getting everything for everybody else and making everybody else happy that you forget to get yourself stuff that you need and things you know do nice things for yourself don't forget to treat yourself if your love language is doing stuff for other people put yourself on a priority list that you cannot go and help other people until you have at least accomplished something in your own home space if your house is a wreck and you're going over and helping another friend clean their house all the time but you're not taking care of your house it's a problem babe you want to make sure that your space is nice for you too that's self-love, right? You do what I don't mind doing for other people because I love them. Well, then why don't you like doing it for yourself? Why don't you like saying positive affirmations to yourself in the mirror? Why don't you like doing these things for yourself? Why does it feel silly for you to say something nice to yourself, but you can say it all day to other people? When you magically have all the answers to all of this, um, go ahead and drop them in the comments and let me know because it's still a lot of things that I still work on for myself. Believe me, I am nowhere near a master at any of this stuff. I said that life is about practice, right? It's about practicing what you preach. It's about practicing healthy behaviors and patterns. It's about, yeah, and everything is practice. And the more you practice at it, the better you get at it. Alright, so on the 3D I'm picking up, there's a King of Wands here, energy for sure, King of Fire energy going on, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Two of Pentacles, right? I get a sense that this person's living on a foundation built on the Three of Swords, it's something that they don't want to face. I think because the king of wands on this one is like I usually say this is the frankly scarlet I don't give a damn card right walking off I feel like this is the energy that this person really wants to do um, they're bound into this little I get a sense that there's two energies right you get the ten of pentacles here you got the three of swords and I 
cast it in an arch for some reason today, which I haven't done in a while, which is like, this is the precipice, right? It's the arc of the story is this Three of Swords, right? So you have a Ten of Pentacles at the beginning of this storyline. The Three of Swords here is holding this all together, right? And the reason I think that there's two entities, now these two are facing each other down here. When I pick them up, they're going to go reverse, but it doesn't really matter, right? So you get the Four of Pentacles was first in the spread, and then the Two of Pentacles, right? And these are two energies that are facing each other, right? This one's got a sword through the eye, so I feel like this is someone from their past, the Four of Pentacles. Um, yeah, it's a foundation card for sure. This is someone in someone's past foundation for sure, someone that watches them. And they also have someone who speaks about them, right? And these two are maintaining this balance. And I feel like this person wants out of this. Because these are also two, when I see skeletons, um, I get the emotionless people. You know what I'm saying? People who don't have any genuine emotions. That's why they're so nasty. On the 40 here, we've got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands here. All right, we got the Prince of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. I'm picking up on this. This is definitely, I'm like still picking up on that King of Wands, right? Remember, we also got the Virgo energy, the Jupiter energy, that five, that's conflict, that's overthinking. Jupiter, let's see, what is Jupiter's official thing? Expansion, yeah, expanding your thought process, learning, right? right? Breaking out of the box, breaking out of the patterns. What? Fuck that, I'm going to make my tomorrow. There you go. That's the energy that I like to see going on here. And that's kind of what I'm also picking up. So we got the Prince of Swords here. Prince of Swords. I was thinking about this the other day too. Pages are those uh, matching energy people, right? Pages don't mind getting in quips and arguments. Pages get their feelings hurt all the time because they haven't got no armor either, right? They're defenseless little weak things and the small dog. Yep, 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 yep. But then as soon as you step too close to them, they, ah, and they run away, right? That's the page. The Knight of Swords. Now, this one, you're a little bit more evolved as a page. You realize you hurt people's feelings. People can hurt your feelings. You know, when you're trying to evolve a little bit, you've got a little bit of armor now to yourself. Um, and you're trying to gain control over your mouth. But there's still times with the Knight that they can go rushing in, right? Knights can be triggered to rush in. And I feel like this is definitely an energy that this person has had a long time. It's something that they're trying to work on, right? Rushing into arguments and fights, right? I got the Eagle here, which is for some reason I'm picking up a big Roman vibe. I like how the Eagle's pulling the Air Chariot too with this Prince of Swords here. Right, you got the Six of Pentacles. This person is getting a lot of control over their mouth and over their actions, right? I feel like this is something they've, they've been working on for a while. They might not be perfect, but they are gaining a lot of success in the department, right? This is the King of Wands again. I also like how this one is in motion, right? He's in motion. He's not... Three is walking... The card below on the 3D was like walking away. This one in the 4D is like... On another level, they feel like they're jumping over, they're getting ready to jump over a wall of fire. And why are they jumping over a wall of fire? Because there's a queen of wands on the other side. All right, already, already, already. Now, what does the 5D have to say about this? Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is always about what you focus on is where your energy goes is where your focus is, right? And, yeah. I also get a lot of reaping what you said with the Nine of Pentacles, too. It's like right on that edge of harvesting something, right? The Nine of Pentacles is right before that Ten of Pentacles. It's right on that verge of harvesting something, right? Right on the edge, right? Something that you've been focusing a lot on is getting ready to come into fruition. There is a 
ton of conflict. That's just what I was talking about with that knight card, right? There is a ton of conflict. Be mindful who you're running into battle for. This is definitely the card for light workers and warriors and those who came here to be healers, right? Be mindful who you're ready to go to battle for, right? You get this guy back here. He almost looks like the guy from the devil card. He's got... What, what are you running in for? He's got the bull, too. A lot of, There's a lot of Taurus energy in this card. Yeah, he's a bull. A bully. This is a warning. This is a warning to people who are in danger of being flying monkeys. Right? Be careful who you run into battle for. Be mindful. Be mindful. Pay attention to the cycles that have been going on. Right? This is 21. This is the edge. This is the precipice. This is the universe and all the elements are in line right now, giving you an opportunity, highlighting all this shit for you. These every two years, these massive retrograding cycles are all here to highlight long term cycles in your life. They highlight things that you should be noticing seem to happen every time around this year. Your friends, everybody breaks up in summer around you. The group that you're running with, everybody breaks up and it's hot girl summer and everybody runs around sleeping with everybody and everything else like that and da 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 and they all get back together and then everybody's conveniently dating somebody by the holidays and then it's usually the same person over and over again by the holidays and then it's all you don't want to break up with them over the holidays and da 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 da, -da and then all of a sudden what? Hot girl summer, here we go again. If you notice certain people come around certain times a year right what are you working on right now okay so what you just got a new job you're getting your life going again you're getting getting good at going and you're moving and you're building and you're you're doing it one paycheck to paycheck to paycheck and you're waiting on taxes to come around right yet every year around tax time what all of a sudden every february this person texts me hi what are you doing miss you Especially if you didn't get back together with them at the end of the summer, right? Then they show up then. It's paying attention to the long-term cycles in your life, right? Learning who is worth running into battle for and who only shows up at certain times just to drain you, right? This is a rite of passage that's happening right now, right? That's the mindful card. I've always say this with this one too. It's look, they're very carefully, mindfully taking their steps, careful not to slip off those rocks, right? You gotta maintain your wits about you right now, right? You got swords in the air there. He's carrying two swords. It's a lot of page energy in this too. It's like because it's scary. It's come foolish, right? It kind of feels like the full card as well. The full card has a lot of page energy to it, right? In the end, though, so much passion on this line, right? That's why I say there's a, there's a lot of. Yeah, energy all the way up to the 5D. There's a lot of passion, right? The energy from the 5D looking at this is like the 5D is even passionate for this storyline, right? It wants to see the adapt. It wants to see the change, right? We always talk about the volunteers came here to raise the frequency of the earth. We always say that the frequency of the earth is what? Love, right? But you got to love yourself and you can't love yourself if you're in a toxic environment constantly defending yourself and you're constantly defending today for tomorrow. What? Oh, well, I'll keep the peace today and then maybe tomorrow will be better and I'll keep the peace today. And then you find yourself that you're always the one keeping the peace and it's costing you too much. It's costing you too much. You need to start talking to yourself in your own love language. All right. You want anything else? One more thing from the dickhead fairy. What's the dickhead fairy have to say about this? My station will never be rated for kids. Anyway. Ooh! Haha! -ha. Last message. What? 
do you want? What do you want? Stop worrying about what everybody else wants. Stop worrying about what they want. Stop worrying about what other people want. Stop worrying about what those people in the 3D want that are watching you and talking about you. Stop worrying about what they want. What do you want? I love you. Blessed be all those who walk these weird and winding paths with me. I'll be back as soon as I can. I promise.